And now, our feature presentation. Good breakfast, try the diner. You're obviously into Greek. Get it? Here we go. Best one line. Hey, well, I get to learn karate. Karate? The Dane cook of martial arts? No. Oh my god! <laughs> you I'm going to try not to pause it so much because it's literally just going to be a bunch of one-liner jokes back to back to back. But that's the beauty of one-liners. There is no setup. There is no, uh, it's just the joke. And the Dane, <laughs> the Dane cook of Marsh. Oh, that's so good. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry. You killed a hooker. Call girl. No, she was a, Cyril. A call when they're dead, they're just hookers. Ironic, isn't it? I'm not sure that's technically irony. What? This is like O. Henry and Alanis Morissette had a baby and named it this exact situation. You know what's dangerous? Your obsession with me. Just... Seriously, Lana, call Kenny Loggins because you're in the danger zone. Lana. <laughs> Lana. Lana. Lana! What? Danger zone. Uh, hello? <laughs> Airplanes? Yeah, it's blimps. You win. Bye. Baby? Did I interrupt something? No. <laughs> oh, when's the last time you've seen a blimp? I don't think I've seen a blimp in years. Like, I get the point of a blimp, but also at the same time, what is the point of a blimp? And how much room is actually up there? Because when I was a kid, I'm sitting here thinking, yo, like... There's just like a bunch of people up there walking around, chilling, hanging out, having drinks, you know, party and whatnot. <laughs> I know nothing about blimps. If there's any blimp and uh, blimp enthusiasts or just anyone with more knowledge about blimps than me, please drop some knowledge in the comments for your boy. Let's go. Uh, rehearsal with your Commodore's tribute band. That chick was like the Pele okay. of anal. I am from Germany, <laughs> where the age of consent is 14. No. What is it? The Alabama of Europe? You, Switzerland. I'm not an idiot, Woodhouse. Unlike some people around here. Look at that thing. It's like <laughs> he called a baby an idiot. <laughs> he called he called a baby an idiot, and then a, he also called like Switzerland or Germany or whatever it was the, the Alabama of Europe. <laughs> Sterling Archer is indeed a super super savage, and you gotta love him for it. It's made out of Wolverine's bones. You know, because they're. Does nobody read X-Men? I was all conference lacrosse. Pretty demanding sport, pretty tough on the glutes. <laughs> this one knows what I'm talking about, right? I see you checking them out. Is that sarcasm? No, sir. Oh, good. Because your opinion matters. And since you seem unclear on the concept, that was sarcasm. What are you going to do? Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Dogs of war. Whatever farm animal of war, <laughs> Lana, shut up. Mikey, I can barely get a comb through this. It's so thick my barber charges me double. Okay, but on the way, we gotta stop it. At <laughs> what? How much gel does this man have to put in his hair? Like, I get have a thick hair. Your boy got some thick hair. But imagine your your barber just being like, dog, sorry to do this to you, but yo, I gotta charge you double. Like, it's it also wouldn't surprise me if Sterling Archer actually wore a toupee or something of some sort. Toy store and at least get him a stuffed animal. Something. That's like Meowschwitz in there. Just jacking it on the telephone. Um, does internet porn know you're cheating on it? Shut up! <laughs> that vest is bulletproof! Oh. Ow! But it is, you know, a vest. Why isn't there a metal briefcase full of bearer bonds handcuffed to your drinking arm? Uh, pretty sure you just answered your own question. Oh my god, this is like taking candy from a candy-hating baby. Those cannot be your only shoes. What am I saying? It's Russia. <laughs> I bet people come from miles around just to have their picture taken in those. Uh, I'm scared if Son. I stop all at once, the cumulative hangover will literally kill me. I'm setting the autopilot, but this better not be a ruse. <laughs> a ruse? Bring, bring. <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's the 1930s. Can we have our words and clothes and shitty airplane back? Let's go, kid. Call you back, 1930s. And hey, watch out for that Adolf Hitler. He's a bad egg. I'm sorry, I can't hear... What? If you have one, it can be in this video or it can be one that's not in this video because this video is a few years old, so I'm pretty sure there's some new ones that have come out. But, but, what is your personal favorite archer one-liner drop those down in the comments because the one that i think is the best 
is gonna be the pinned comment. So drop those down below. Let's go. You over the sound of my giant throbbing erection. Archer, at any time <laughs> in the next 12 hours, this train could be attacked by radical Nova Scotian separatists. Armed with what? Pamphlets about Canada's responsible gun control laws? Oh, oh my God, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, the dust! It's like being shot in the eyes by a glitter gun. Ugh. That would actually like when I think about it. Yo, you know, you know how fast the train is moving. The wind, just the the pure like the wind. Like I can't even stick my face out the window long. Like before, I'm like, all right, like I gotta get back in here. I just imagine like a, a cars can go fast, but I think trains can go faster. They have the ability to do so, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. And at like a rate, like in cars, you're stopping, you're going, you're turning. The you know the uh, speed limit changes, but in a train, I'm pretty sure it's just ugh, just one straight shot, like 150 miles an hour. There's no way that I'm just gonna crawl on top of a train or stick my head out there. It's not happening. It's black, powerful, sexy, like if Ron O'Neill was a car. <laughs> Are you insane? Maybe some mild post-traumatic stress disorder, but... But he drinks a lot, so... So, yeah, I think I've got a pretty good handle on it. But can you walk us through the crime? Just the crime of murder, not the crime of sodomy by rubber eggplant. So, so what's no. in the armory? Burglars, Lana, that's why I'm here and not up to my ears in stewardess. It would be rude not <laughs> to eat her pie, which I assume is not only hot, but also moist. Although, hopefully not flaky. Please let me be No, no, never flaky, never flaky. <laughs> I was about to, I, I was about to say but like a good like flaky like chicken papa, but <laughs> Seth don't want to... <laughs> When the G don't want no flakes, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's talking about vagina. The first to offer my condolences. And let me be the first to welcome you back into the dating pool. Did you close your eyes? I, I kinda feel like I'm banging taillights on a country road. And I won't lie to you, this mission will be dangerous. Uh, would you say we'd be venturing into a zone of danger? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to, to a zone? It's just one of danger. <laughs> well, good luck fighting a bunch of, whatever, space pirates without me. <laughs> space. Hey! Whoa, Charles Benedict Davenport. Uh, the father of eugenics? A black astronaut, Cyril. That's like killing a unicorn. Well, that and your... <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's kind of true. It's messed... <laughs> but... <laughs> I mean, if I'm, like, say, like, like a situation where I've become an astronaut... I am shot into space. We're all up there, you know, and then all of a sudden this like turns into a movie. Something crazy happens, like there's like panic on the ship and everyone's losing it, and then we all eventually, you know, we're like in survival mode. We gotta start rationing stuff and like Sorry, uh the the, the black astronaut is sticking around until the end. <laughs> he's gonna be <laughs> he's gonna be my friend because I'm not killing no unicorns, okay? Hulk hands. I do not have She Hulk, then whatever. There are Bob. What? Jennifer Walters. Alter ego of She-Hulk. Thank you. Uh, sorry, what was your name again? Rodney. Thank you, asshole. The thermostat's <laughs> becoming sentient. <laughs> oh. oh, God, that's how Maximum Overdrive started. Yeah. Great movie, though. Great movie. If you don't know about Maximum Overdrive, it's a really old school movie. <sighs> Electronics come to life like anything that has like a battery in it or runs on electricity is alive. But <laughs> oh, it sounds stupid, but it really is. It really is a great movie. But could you imagine crawling like that and you're just rubbing your junk up against that steel or that aluminum or whatever kind of metal that that is, whatever precious metal that that vent was made out of. Oh, and then also your D is going to be dirt. Like, oh, he looked dirty. So you know that D was dirty for sure. Uh, no, I mean, obviously this was all due to the butterfly effect. The what? Butterfly effect. You know, a butterfly in Africa lands on a giraffe's nose. The giraffe sneezes. That spooks a gazelle. The gazelle bonks into a rhinoceros. And the rhinoceros blindly stampedes into a phone booth, calls New York somehow, and says, Hey, go kill this idiot Ron for a suitcase because the rhinoceros speaks English. Wow. What? Shorty over there has got a club with lumps on it. Kicking it bedrock style. Lana, that is the 
third saddest thing I've heard today. <laughs> Pam told me about a little girl who drowned trying to save a puppy. Jesus, <laughs> what was the second saddest? The puppy drowned too. Why is Barry rocket shipping away from the? It's kind of dark. It's kind. Of, it's kind of dark. It's not too much. Like that's. The... <laughs> oh, the puppy. The puppy died. That. That's the bad. That's the sad part. Not even the fact that 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 the little girl died. She tried. He didn't even say that she did. She tried to save the puppy. <laughs> oh, he's more upset about the puppy than a human life dying. <laughs> Aren't we all at times though? Freaking space station! Because Newton's third law of motion? Hey, thanks, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Who am I? Lewis and or Clark? Hey, is something burning? Oh, wait, it's you, because you just got burnt. I and he, uh, really shouldn't be drinking. Oh, really? You learned that in med school that you obviously didn't get into? Relax, it's North Korea, the nation-state equivalent of the short bus. Did you seriously Son. climb all the way up here just to see what my bonus is? No, I sarcastically climbed all the way up here to see what your bonus is. He said, sarcastically. I'm coming, Cyril! Lana I know that spies are, like, 100% legit a real thing in the world. I don't know how many more spies spies that are out there now um but yo i'm pretty sure <laughs> i don't know where this came from but i'm pretty sure no one no one not even jewel thieves or heist people or any i'm pretty sure no one has climbed the side of a skyscraper that is completely glass it's all windows with suction cups and carved can you even carve a hole into glass with like that little edge knife or like like it looks like the knife that people use when they're like what are they building like model cars and airplanes and stuff you know like the like the little knife you need to cut the pieces out it looks like <laughs> oh it's the problem my god spies 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 wait bet that's the first time you ever said that are you coming no but i'm breathing fast not yet <laughs> get it <laughs> yeah. yeah the time has come and so have i <laughs> uh, rin portfleep just called he wants you to pose for him Oh, come on. Beloved illustrator of gnomes? Jesus, read a coffee table book. Something, something, danger zone. Uh, I know. I'm not even trying anymore. Hey, bros, what's going on? This is Cotton Eyeball. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because subscribing makes you feel good. <laughs>